Hey, we're going to get rolling here today. Um, you know, we've got some questions on, on insurance that we went through in February uh, on considering SEO and ECO uh, that way. So, you know, here we're going to kind of wrap things up, especially with these insurance prices set. Uh, you know, so here, here are just some basics in here in front of us. I mean, you've got revenue protection, um, SEO and ECO. You can look back on this. We went through it on previous ones, but explaining what, what the coverage is. But now let's look at on how we, we consider and what kind of option or what, what kind of insurance policy you can take a look at. You know, here's an, an example. I've got an APH of 210 bushels an acre, but the county yield is at 201.8. And we mentioned before in our webinars that if your APH is above your county yield, then the revenue protection policy is favored a little bit more compared to having SEO when you have a similar cost. On the other hand, if your APH is below the county yield, we would favor SCO compared to revenue protection. So with this example in here right now, we would tend to favor revenue protection over SCO. Now, how do these costs look? We've got four different coverage levels on revenue protection for this producer, okay, with the 210 APH. If we look at the two with the yellows, what we have our focus on, our revenue protection policy is gonna cost 553 an acre, we add our SEO on top of it of 1158. That gives us a cost of 1711 an acre. At 80% revenue protection, our cost is 1145 an acre. You add the SEO at 767. That gets us to 1912. If this is the producer in here where his yield is above the county, okay, we would probably suggest going with the 80% revenue protection and throw the SEO on top of it. If this is a producer, though, where your yield is below the county average, we definitely would probably go down to the 75% coverage and then put the SEO on top of there. This is how we look at insurance policies to recommend for our clients that we work with. Now, as we look towards ECO, this is the big question in here. Should we consider doing this? It is an expensive product. We are looking at the cost of ECO is running $31.40 an acre with a potential guarantee or return up to $111.70 an acre. We need to put this back to a per bushel basis so we compare it to options. The cost for this ECO program runs around 15 cents a bushel with a potential return up to 53 cents a bushel. Again, you've got a return or the potential return of 3.55 to one. Again, ECO is just not with price. We need to keep the county yield in mind. Taking a look at an option, this is how we figure out on, on an option comparison price. 95% to 591 comes down to 561. 86% to 591 is 508. Essentially, you're looking at a bare put spread. We use 560 down to 510. You can see the 560 put would run you 36 cents. The 510 would be 16. Therefore, cost of a bare put spread would run you around 20 cents a bushel. Let's compare the option now compared to what ECO is. ECO, our cost is 15 cents. Our max return is 53. That's a three and a half to one return. You look at an option position in here, our cost is 20 cents. The max return is 50. Your potential return is two and a half to one. Again, you got to keep in mind final county yield is that impacts the ECO. It won't impact the option price. But looking at this right now, ECO would be favored. Now we want to wrap things up here. I mean, revenue protection is a must, especially with the cost of doing business. We believe producers need to really consider adding SEO. And then we think in a year like this year, ECO needs to really be considered as well. Historically, if we're just using national averages, the six years Feb corn price has been about 550. Five of those six years, there's been an indemnity payment for ECO. So, you know, the, to me, you look at ECO in here when we got prices at the upper end of our range, if they're at the mid to lower end of the range from a February price, you probably won't consider it. At the end of the day, you need to do what you're comfortable with. The other thing is, is we always move into the Feb crop insurance time period. If I buy crop insurance, why should I market our grain? We still need to market our grain. Selling grain ahead, especially cash contracting, is a very important part of a market program. Any questions, give us a call, like us on the YouTube page. Have a great day.